Miriam, also known as Moses and Aaron's sister. We see in Exodus 2 where Miriam's name is first mentioned in the story of Moses. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard the story of Moses, but haven't really gone in depth on the story of Miriam. They say that she might have been in the ages 7 through 12, and she was known as a protective sister, one who looked out for her brother Moses when Pharaoh's daughter got him. She actually played a huge role in the deliverance of Israel. It was actually thanks to Miriam we see in Exodus 2 verses 7 through 10 that they were able to keep in touch with Moses. Now the Bible doesn't say word for word that Miriam was there during the plagues, but we know that she was part of it. She experienced it all just as Moses and Aaron did as well. She also witnessed the deliverance of the Israelites as Moses led them through the desert. She also saw how God miraculously provided manna from heaven and even how the Ten Commandments were given to the Israelites. We see in Exodus 15 how the Israelites were filled with joy because they were finally able to escape the slavery of the Egyptians after 400 years. We see in verse 20, it says, Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine and led all the women as they played their tambourines and danced. And Miriam sang this song, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Now this verse really stuck out to me. In the first part, it says that Miriam was a prophet. And not just that, but she was able to lead the women of the Israelites to a time of worship, a time to glorify the king. This kind of lets us know that what Aaron and Moses were doing with the men was kind of what Miriam was doing with the women, leading them, encouraging them, and being there for them. This is proven in Micah chapter 6, verse 4, which states, For I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from slavery. I sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to help you. So here we see the impact that Miriam had on the deliverance of the Israelites because it doesn't just say Moses and Aaron, but it also has her name in there, which indicates that she was also an asset to the deliverance of God's people. Although Miriam was a big influence in the deliverance of the Israelites, we see in Numbers chapter 12 that Miriam and Aaron started complaining about Moses. Moses had married a Cushite woman, and because of this, Miriam and Aaron started criticizing and gossiping Moses' life. We see in verses 7 through 10 of Numbers 12 that the Lord became angry with Miriam and Aaron because of the way that they were speaking about his servant Moses. It says in verse 9, Then the Lord was very angry with them, and he departed. As the cloud moved from above the tabernacle, there stood Miriam, her skin as white as snow from leprosy. And this spoke greatly to my life because as Christians, we are able to see that we have authority over us. We have pastors, we have leaders. And like Miriam, many times we gossip or we talk to other people in the same community of the church and talk bad about them. And the Lord is saying, you know, I have called that person for a specific purpose in this place. And by you speaking bad to them, something bad is going to happen to you. And Miriam, she got leprosy. But in our lives, we need to be able to submit ourselves to the authority and know who the Lord has called and trust in God that he has called those people for a reason. After this happened to Miriam, we see in the verses in Numbers 12 that this happened to her for seven days. The Lord had to take Miriam out of the community of the Israelites because of her leprosy for seven days. I believe this taught Miriam a huge lesson of how she speaks about the people that God has called and reevaluate the leadership and the authority that she had. And after this, we actually do not hear of Miriam until Numbers 20 verse 1 where it states her death and that she was buried. This speaks a lot to us because Miriam had a lot of influence. Miriam had the decision to be a positive influence or a negative influence. Although in the beginning, she did lead the women into praise and worship. But after that, her gossip, her mouth led her to having leprosy for seven days and actually not even being mentioned in the Bible anymore until her death. 